this problem is obviously from two years from now and by the way if you're watching this in 2025 then leave a comment below to solve that problem we need to know a little trick let's learn how to square numbers that end in five i promise it won't take long and we'll be back to our problem very soon so to square a number that ends in five for example 65 we need to take the number that's not five and multiply it by one than itself so we take six and multiply it by one than itself which means we multiply it by seven so we have 42 so 65 squared starts with 42 and then we need to put 5 squared at the end which is 25 so 65 squared is 4225 let's do another one 85 squared we need to take 8 and multiply it by one more than itself which is 9 and the result is 72 so we put down the result and then in the end we put down 25 so 85 squared is 7225 it actually works with three digit numbers too let's for example square 105 we take 10 and then multiply it by 11 which is 110 and then put 25 in the end so 105 squared is 11025 now after we learn that trick we can see that square root of 2025 is just 45 because 20 here is 4 times 5 so if we were to square 45 then we will take 4 multiply it by 5 get 20 and put down 25 in the end so we are just reversing the squaring rule to guess the square root of 2025 right so we have a square root of 45 minus square root of 2024 and now we need to factorize 2024 and to do that let's represent 2024 as 2025 minus 1 which is 45 squared minus 1 so 1 is 1 squared so we can just use a difference of squares formula which gives us 45 minus 1 times 45 plus 1 so now square root of 2024 is just 44 times 46 under a sign of squared root it's pretty obvious that this is two squared roots of 22 times 23 now what are these numbers 22 and 23 notice that they add up to 44 what a beautiful coincidence so now we just have a square root of 22 minus two squared roots of 22 times 23 plus 23. So we have to simplify that. And if we look closely, then this is a perfect square because 22 is square root of 22 squared and 23 is square root of 23 squared. So we have a square root of a square root of 22 squared minus two times square root of 22 times square root of 23 plus square root of 23 squared. And it is all under a root sign. So this is a perfect square. And we finally have square root of square root of 22 minus square root of 23 squared. Right. And it is all equal to square root of 22 minus square root of 23. But wait a minute. This is actually a mistake because that is a negative number. And a square root cannot be negative. So actually, this root of a square is by a definition absolute value of that number, which is equal to square root of 23 minus square root of 22. And that is the answer. But this is not the end. The 22 plus 23 equals 45 coincidence is not at all a coincidence, of course. Actually, this whole problem works for any square of an odd number. Let's, for example, simplify a square root of square root of 289 minus square root of 288 which is square root of 17 now 17 squared is 289 minus a square root of 17 squared minus 1 which is equal to square root of 16 times 18 which is equal to 2 square roots of 8 times 9 and 8 plus 9 is 17 which is 17 under that squared root so this problem with a similar structure to our original problem has the same solution and in the end we will have square root of 9 minus square root of 8 which can be further simplified actually it's 3 minus 2 squared roots of 2 so can we generalize that problem of course we can let's say that a is some odd number which means that a equals 2k plus 1 because an odd number is always one more than an even number 
and 2k is an even number because it's obviously divisible by 2. Now we have our problem generalized. We have to simplify square root of a minus square root of a squared minus 1. And using difference of two squares, we can say that this is a square root of a minus 1 times a plus 1, just as we did in previous examples. And if we plug 2k plus 1 into the expression, then we have square root of a, which is 2k plus 1 minus square root of a minus 1, which is just 2k, times a plus 1, which is 2k plus 1 plus 1, or 2k plus 2. So we have that expression. It is all equal to square root of 2k plus 1 minus 2 squared roots of k times k plus 1. And if we say that 2k plus 1 is k plus 1 plus k, so we have that plus k, and here k times k plus 1, then in the end we will have a squared root of a squared root of k plus 1 minus square root of k squared, which is equal to square root of k plus 1 minus square root of k. And this is our problem generalized. So you can see that this problem isn't unique for number 2025 and there is a lot of going on. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and if you want to learn more then check out some other videos on my channel. See ya!